Hi, I'm Teacher Thomas. Welcome to A-Level Mechanics. We're looking at the 2020 specimen paper for mechanics, question 6. A particle P moves in a straight line. The velocity V meters per second at time T seconds is given by, and we have three different functions and three different intervals, where K is a constant. Requirement A, find K. Requirement B, sketch the velocity time graph for 0 is less than or equal to 20. Requirement B, sketch the velocity time graph for 0 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 20. Requirement C, find the set of values of t for which the acceleration of p is positive. Requirement D, find the total distance traveled by p in the interval 0 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 20. We'll work through these calculations on separate boards. Let's start with A. For the interval 4 to 14, inclusive of 4 and 14, v equals k. For time equals 4, the first function given also applies, and at 14, the third function given also applies. I'll use the second and the third to set an equation as k equals 68 minus 2. I'll replace the t with the time at which the second and third function are equal, 14. k simplifies to 40. b sketch the velocity time graph for 0 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 20. I'll start with my horizontal axis from 0 to 20. For now I'll simply mark 0 and 20 and we have three different functions along this interval. From 0 to 4, from 4 to 14, and from 14 to 20. From 4 to 14, we know in this range, v, we just calculated k, v equals 40. I'm going to put some labels into the graph. I'll label my horizontal axis as time, my vertical axis as velocity, and I'll mark the maximum point of velocity as 40. I can, by inspection, observe that the first function is a parabola that's going to open up because 5t times t is 5t squared. 5 is positive, thus an upward opening parabola. The highest that that parabola will be in our graph is going to be this point of 40. And then after 14 seconds, we have a declining velocity so 40 is going to be our maximum point. That's going to be in effect from 4 to 14 seconds. I'll draw a straight line across. From 14 to 20, we have a linear equation. We know at 14, we have a velocity of 40. Let's calculate where we are at time equals 20. V equals 68 minus 2 times the ending t value of 20. This will become 28 and use the coordinates of 2028 20, as the final point at 20 seconds in a straight line going down from 40 to 28. Now in the case of the first function, let's expand this to v equals 5t squared minus 10t. So we can solve to find where time is 0. 0 equals 5t squared minus 10t. We'll have two t values. t is 0 at the points 0 and 2. I'll mark 2 on the horizontal axis and show that at 0 and 2, we're at a velocity of 0. I know I have an upward opening parabola because 5, the a value of the quadratic, is positive. So I must have negative values between 0 and 2. I want to identify the minimum point that's going to be between 0 and 2, which will be 1. So let's find the velocity when t is 1 using, again, this first function. Velocity when t is 1 equals... 5 times 1 times quantity 1 minus 2. That value is negative 5. I'm going to go down on the vertical axis 
to a point that I'll label as negative 5. And the time coordinate is 1. So at 1, negative 5, I'm showing the vertex of the parabola. And I'll draw in my parabola starting at 0, 0, going down to 1, negative 5, up to 2, 0. And showing curving behavior all the way up to 440. That's our sketch of the velocity time graph. Requirement C asks for information relating to the graph. The requirement is to find the values of t for which the acceleration of p is positive. Acceleration is positive wherever velocity is increasing. If we look at the graph, we see starting from time equals 1, and continuing to time equals 4, we have increasing velocity. Not at time equals 1 and time equals 4, but at all points in between. That's the range for which velocity is increasing, and that's the range for which acceleration is positive. And the answer for C is 1 is less than T is less than 4. For d, total distance, we want to find the area under the curve in the velocity time graph. As this is distance as opposed to displacement, we need to treat all areas as positive. So if we look at a sketch of our graph, we have our parabola, then a straight line, then a downward sloping diagonal line. We're looking for the area that is below the horizontal axis plus the area that is above the horizontal axis. Recall that the point at which the parabola goes from below the horizontal axis to above the horizontal axis is 2. The point at which we go from parabola to horizontal line is 4. The point at which we go from horizontal line to diagonal line is 14. And our final point is 20. We'll calculate four areas. A, using integration of the parabola from 0 to 2. B, integration of the parabola from 2 to 4. C, the rectangle from 4 to 14. And D, trapezoid from 14 to 20. These four areas for A, we want to integrate from 0 to 2, the function 5 t squared minus 10t with respect to t. This is we can identify by observing the graph. We'll give a negative output. I want the absolute value because again looking at distance as opposed to displacement we want to treat all areas as positive. For b the same function with limits here from 2 to 4 the function 5t squared minus 10t with respect to t. C, the area of the rectangle. The rectangle has a base from 4 to 14, which is 10. And a height we previously identified as 40. D, the area of the trapezoid, is going to be the average of the two heights. The two heights, one is 40, and the other we identified in the graph is 20. We'll take this value and divide by 2 and multiply by the base. The base from 14 to 20 is 6. When you complete and sum the calculations, you arrive at the value 644, which in this case, while we're calculating area, this isn't units squared. We interpret the area as a distance, 644 meters. This completes the requirements for question 6.